Hello. Today we talk about HM5, horological machine number five, that we also call On the Road Again. It was a very important and seminal piece for me when I created it. It was the first time that I was going to tackle a car-inspired timepiece. In the 1930s, started the first driver's watches. They were actually watches, round watches, which drivers would wear on the side of their wrists. So when they're driving and in their very big cars with these big steering wheels, they didn't have to go like this to see the time. They could actually see the time here. This is a car-inspired watch. So it's also what you call a driver's watch. You can see the time on the side without having to move your wrist. The back of this and the whole shape is reminiscent of the Lamborghini Miura, but also of the Lancia Stratos and of the Lotus Esprit. And all the supercars of the early six, uh, late 60s, early 70s had these louvers on the back of their window. It's also a 70s inspired watch because it's digital. Jumping hour, sweeping minute, but it's a mechanical digital watch. And if you had a jumping hour movement, in this case, vertical, the watch would be about this thick. So how does this work? We spent months and actually years trying to find a solution. We originally started with parabolic mirrors. It didn't work. And then we went on to prism mirrors. So what you have here is a movement which is flat. You can actually see the rotor at the back. And you've got a very big and very complicated sapphire prism, which is sending the information from flat to vertical. The prism has three functions. The first, transforming the information vertical. So basically you're having an optical illusion when you're looking at the time. The second is actually a magnifying glass. The curve has been designed so it's a 20% magnifying system. And the third, it's actually where we put the water resistance gasket, which makes the water resistance of the case in front. So that makes for incredibly complex engineering and machining. Every one of these prisms takes about 60 hours to machine. That is a week and a half. It's built like a car. What I mean is that it's got actually a titanium chassis inside, which is completely watertight. And then we bring the body parts that we screw on exactly like a car. The whole idea is that this was the first car which was going to be coach built, an independent chassis, and we would actually redesign the shape each time we wanted. One of our retailers looked at me and said, well, what happens if water comes in here? Because it's water resistant 50 meters, you've got a rubber strap for the first time in the history of MBNF, you can go swimming with it. What happens when water goes in here? And I'm like, well, no worries, you're in a, there's a watertight capsule which is gonna avoid water getting into the movement. He said, but how does it get out? And then we hadn't thought of that. And that's how we created the very first exhaust system in a mechanical watch. These two holes you see here are actually exhaust systems that if water comes in here, it's gonna drain out from the back. HM5 has had three lives. There were 66 made out of zirconium, which is the piece I'm wearing here. There were 66 made out of red, gold, and titanium, and 66 made out of black carbon macrolon, which was actually a completely new material, a very, very hard polycarbonate, which was created specifically for us, and which is completely black. And that if you scratch it, it's black underneath. And if you scratch it, we can actually refurbish it, repolish it, or uh, re-satin finish it. So three times 66 HM5, and that was the end of that.